Hey, what's up, cousins? Welcome back to the channel. So today, since we've been talking about Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, closing up 600 stores across the United States, I decided we should do a Family Dollar, Dollar Tree store walkthrough. And ironically, I found one. I'll show it to you in a minute. I found one that is the combo store. So we're going to do Family Dollar, Dollar Tree store walkthrough and see what we can find in there and what the shelves are looking like, etc. And especially what the prices are looking like. So let's go inside. Before we do, give this video a thumbs up, share it out, leave comments down below, and let's go. But keep your hands to yourself, okay? Don't touch unless you're buying. Don't touch unless you're buying. Y'all know your mama used to tell y'all that. Okay, let's go in. You got the Dollar Tree and you got the Family Dollar. So let's go in and see what we can find. They got a clearance out here. Look like. Maybe on some winter things or whatever. For the kiddos or maybe adults. Some Mother's Day items in here. This side is Dollar Tree. And then this side is Family Dollar. So let's get this store walkthrough going. Home decor over here on the Dollar Tree side. It's planting season. I finally got my garden in and it feels good. We got some little knee pads, some trowels, a little rake here, a different kind here. graduation stuff so let's see what they got y'all because my daughter graduates so my phone is acting weird it's running hot but they got a lot of graduation stuff up in here so i'm gonna see what they have what i can get my daughter for her 2024 high school graduation for the lolo Things you can put on the table. Signs at the school cost like $20 for a sign. My son got his sign for free, but of course that was 2020. They was trying to give things away for free because they felt bad that the kids couldn't actually graduate in the big building that they normally would have graduated in. I think I'm gonna grab one of these cups down here. I don't know which one yet, but they got these here. hang up. That's cute. I'm gonna get one of these. Her colors are blue and white, but I don't see blue and white. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. This is cute. Yeah, some mugs. And then bubbles. So also, no excuse not to get your mom or some woman that you know that is a beautiful person a Mother's Day card for just being her. These cards are 50 cent in here, you guys. I was looking for a graduation card, but I already got my, my daughter a card out of here. And it's, some of them are really nice. And on this side, they have dollar cards. They have some cake. Now, I haven't seen this in the Dollar uh, Tree where I go. This is not where I live, so. But they have a cake carrier. They have your double egg trays with the lids. The 
party area looks really good we have a lot of organization as far as bins that you can get to put in your your um under your cabinets where your sink is your bathroom so we got some window cleaner here dollar 25 um, air fresheners even the plug-ins a dollar 25 I picked up a couple of these Odebon the small ones toy owl looks nice and neat for one this store is very clean I'm very impressed that I haven't ran into one box yet that I had to dodge and duck and go around so that's a plus some nice pair of scissors here for a dollar. I do need me another pair of scissors. Floral. I'm just giving you the lay of the land that I haven't run into a box and I'm excited about that. Okay, so we have here some doggy play items. Nice. We have these right here, sun visors, car fresheners. I'm gonna grab me some Fabuloso, cause I need some. It's not a big bottle, but it's a decent sized bottle for $1.25. Down this aisle, they have some clothes and bags over here. And we're almost to the red section, which would be family dollar side. So over here we have bath and accessories and textiles. I'm just really impressed with this store. Um, sad that they are closing like 600 stores. A lot of people are gonna be missing out. They have little travel kits you can put your stuff in. Soap. I think I'm gonna grab two of these so, so I normally get these right here because this is antibacterial but I usually use this like at the kitchen so I'm going to put one for the kitchen and then I do need a few more of these sanitizers because I have one in each car and around the house this is not a bad soap. This is what I have at my sink now. This is not a bad soap at all. But I prefer the antibacterial one um, for there. These bottles look smaller than the ones that I, I'm replacing. But they're still the same. They're just a little more sleeker, I guess. It's eight fluid ounces. Okay, so down here we have baby items. Everything you need, I guess, almost. I don't see diapers, but I've never seen diapers in here, which is odd that they would sell baby stuff and not sell like even cheap diapers in here. Um, over here is like health and beauty. So one thing that I do need is some Q-tips. For sure, because everybody uses them, but no one ever replaces them. You got your foot creams, all those things you can, you know, use. Like you can use certain foot creams if you have ringworm, etc. So double use items are good. I need some paper tape. I don't know how good theirs is. No, I need the athletic tape. So I'm gonna grab two of these because I'm still working with Gracie's ear. If you're new to the channel, that's our Connie Corso. I'm still working with one of her ears. So I'm gonna get that. I should have went on the arts and craft aisle and see if they had that other thing I, I was looking for. So I get two of those. For those who are thinking about doing homeschool or just if you have your grandkids over or some kids over to your house, having some things for them to do other than playing electronics, because what do you do when you don't have electronics? You know, you got flashcards here. Okay, so the other aisle is the candy aisle, so I didn't want to go over there. So these are like your protein with your fruits and your nuts, dates, 
Yeah, some cookies and crackers over here. Fries, well, chip fries. And then you got your harvest snaps and stuff over here. Drinks, $1.25. Go down here, we have on this owl stuff to make your pizza with. We're still at $1.25, y'all. Yeah, cake mixes over here, Pillsbury. So, name brand, $1.25. Um, brownies and muffins. They look really good and stocked in here. I don't see any front facing. Have canned goods over here with your vegetables and your fruit that you can get for dollar twenty-five. But I do know. I think what store is it? Dollar General, for sure, still has things for a dollar. So maybe I'll do a store walk through on them one day this week. I just have a really really busy week this week, so I'm trying to get these store walkthroughs in for you guys. Unless there's serious breaking news. Um, we're going to do store walkthroughs. So, paper plates, bowls, cups, those things you do need, especially in an emergency and you don't have access to water to be washing dishes, nor do you want to be washing dishes. So, we have some plates, bowls, cups, glasses for the kitchen. And down here, you have chips. I'm not going to go down there. I'm trying to stay away from that because I'm trying to cut back on my snack and I'm a snacker. So, so you got household items here. Bowls, etc. Pans and stuff down here. So now, this is the last owl of Dollar Tree. Now we are headed to Dollar well, family dollar. Family dollar. Okay, so I didn't see a food section over in the Dollar Tree side. So this is all over here on the family dollar side. So milk is three sixty for a gallon. Eggs are one dozen eggs for three dollars and five cents. That's a bit much considering the grocery stores. Are a little cheaper than that um, some gaps here nothing behind these bottles right here let's see what it's looking like over here they do have the generic brand of the pop tarts for 250 the regular ones for 295 I don't think that's bad it's reasonable they got some cooking oil down here at the bottom this bigger one is $8.85. That one is $3.95. Garlic salt is $3.75, which I still think is cheaper than Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead and get it because I just bought some, but apparently they love the garlic salt because I didn't have any when I was trying to cook the other day. Okay, more cake mixes over here. Now the cake mix is on the Dollar Tree side. They were, I'm sorry for this loud thing, but they were $1.25 and add two more quarters to it and you can get you some cake mix over here as well. So cake mix, brownie mix, all that stuff is cheaper whether you're getting it from Family Dollar, family dollar or Dollar Tree side. So, yep. This is pizza area and they do have pizza in here but you can tell it's kind of low on certain things yeah soda out water out Let's see what the water's looking like Some gaps here and there. This water here gallon is 165, so that's cheaper than um, I think that's cheaper than all day, if I'm not mistaken. 175 for this, and I guess it depends on the brand. So, you 
have some sugar here. I don't see a price for this stuff over here. I think they just kind of stuck it here. Although these do have prices on them, these do not. I don't see prices on the tuna. None of this stuff I see prices on. It's your drink area on that side and on this side too. So drinks are running low, but coffee is fully stocked. Um, they say they got a sale. Was eight seventy five. Now six fifty for the Duncan. For the Folgers, the same thing. So I definitely came in here and got more than I realized I was going to get out of here. But they had some really good um, graduation stuff. I'll show you what I got in a few minutes. But this is what the pet owl is looking like over here. And this owl looks fully stopped. It says great buy owl, but I don't see anything. I see stickers on stuff, but I don't know what makes it a great buy because some stickers are not on some items. So this is what their food section is looking like here. The rest, this is the last owl for the food section. I'm not gonna go into the clothes, I don't think. But they got sardines for $1.25. I think that's cheaper than Walmart. The Spam is definitely cheaper than Walmart. Spam I saw on Walmart was $7. Um, these little chicken of the seas are $1.25. These right here, a dollar. I don't know why the difference of them. Um, these are great to put on your shelves too. And then you got your pastas over here for a dollar and 65 cent. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I'm getting. I got this cup right here for her. Something to put some money in for her. A sign for the yard. This sign for her room or whatever. A cake topper. Card for my oldest daughter. And I got this cute little duck that says 2024. The soap you saw. I'm trying to see what you didn't see. I did put that brownie mix in there. The hand sanitizer. The Q-tips. The cleaning spray. This is for my back. It's cleaning supplies here. Some garlic salt. Scissors. I think this one I'll put back because it's more for a little person head than her big old head. And I'm gonna go check out. Okay guys, so I think I did pretty good in that store. I got about 20, 21 items and I paid $30 and some change. Um, for what I got, I definitely needed it. I was going to end up getting it anyway, and I'd rather pay a dollar twenty-five for it. Even though Dollar Tree products are going up, if you aren't aware, to seven dollars. Now that doesn't mean everything in the store will be seven dollars, but it does mean they're going up to seven dollars. Because right now they have a three and a five dollar owl, so they're adding to it, and it's going to go up to seven dollars. But I think I did pretty good for $30. Y'all can let me know what y'all think down below. And let me know, would you shop at the Family Dollar in the Dollar Tree? Or would you prefer to go to Aldi? Would you prefer to go to Walmart? Just one-stop shop type of place um, like Costco, Sam's, Walmart, maybe Target. I don't know. So let me know. And the prices looks really good in there. Even things that, you know, when I got to the family dollar side, and of course they have things for more than a dollar in there. Um, it still seemed to be pretty reasonable considering, like I pointed out, the spam cost more in Walmart than it did in here. Um, but I don't always go to family dollar, so I didn't know what it looked like. I wanted to find out for myself. So I did hit the like button, share it out. Thanks for doing the store walkthrough with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Talking Bikes TV Homestead.